Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in today. My name is William Betzelberger and I am the host and founder of the Resilient Masculinity Podcast and Movement. Thanks for tuning in today and thanks for listening. Wow, it's been a while since I've said that, huh? Thank you uh, to those of you who are subscribed, those who may be just coming around to this. Um, I have been on a five-month hiatus. Yes, that's five months. It's almost half a year. A lot of y'all might be wondering what happened to me, why I stopped posting my YouTube videos, kind of what what came of me and what became of resilient masculinity. And those are all good questions, and I'll get to that. Um, first and foremost, I do want to say I'm sorry. I am sorry that I kind of just left y'all. I stopped posting on YouTube. Now, I have been posting on my Resilient Masculinity page on Facebook. That's been still very active. However, I've not sat down in front of the computer with the camera and recorded an episode for five months. So, the, the big question is what happened? Well, two days after I posted my previously latest video, and I believe that was on how abortion um, links to mass shootings, if I remember my timeline correctly, um, I got the unexpected news that I got laid off. Um, I finished a day of work, they called me into the office, and they laid off about 40 uh, crew members, of which I was one of them. So the company I worked for, I just, I I had a sudden drop of, of employment. I no longer had money coming in. Um, and through that, God opened a door for my wife and I to move from the state of Michigan all the way down to the state of Oklahoma. So that is where we are now. We're actually living in Oklahoma in a little area called Midwest City. It's about 20 minutes or so from Oklahoma City. If you've ever heard of Tinker Air Force Base, that's where we are. So, my wife and I moved down here with our dog, Buckwheat, and um, moved down here officially in July of 2022, and that's been that. So, I got a job over at Hobby Lobby as a distribution work member. I work in their distribution center, and uh, the days are long. The days are from 7 a.m. anywhere between 3 to 6 p.m. And the, the, the schedule varies, okay? Um, some days I get off earlier, some days I get off later. Uh, we have some very, very good family friends here. Well, my wife's friends who have become my friends and ultimately really have become our family uh, down here. They're, they're our community. They're um, the ones who really encouraged us to move down here. They're fantastic, and I love them. Christian, Brianna, Clay, if you guys are watching this, thank you, thank you, thank you for just all the help you've been, all the encouragement, all the support. Um, couldn't have made this move without you guys. Um, and that they are where I spend a lot of my time outside of my own house and you know my own job. So my wife and I are very much over there all the time. They're over here all the time. Uh, currently, Christian is out of state for a, an academy that he goes to for his job. So, in the meantime, my wife and I, Toriana, we are helping Brianna and their son, Clay, just live life. You know, if they need groceries, if, you know, someone needs to watch a kid while someone else does something. Uh, we're just very, very much in to their lives and they are very into ours. We're very ingrained with each other and that is ultimately where a lot of my life has gone into um, the last few months. So as I said, I've been posting regularly or semi-regularly on the Resilient Masculinity Facebook page. However, I've not sat down and done a video here. Um, part of that again is this hectic schedule. I'm still trying to figure out the flow. Um, Previously, my, my work schedule allowed me to have uh, a 
very consistent time off that I could sit down and record without any problems. Um, that schedule is no longer existent in my life, at least at this current moment. So I will not have a consistent, regular, like every Tuesday or every Thursday or whatever. I will not have that kind of schedule. I hope and I pray and it is my goal to publish one video every other week. So if I post this on a, on a Monday, the I, okay, what is today? Today is Tuesday, the 2nd of November. I hope to have another video, my plan. My goal is to have another video out by Tuesday, or sorry, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. By Wednesday, November 16th. So not the same schedule, not the same um, duration as I had previously been doing. I had been trying to do a video every single week. That had been my stated goal at the start of the year. That is no longer um, the way my life runs at the moment. What are my hopes? What are my dreams? I really do want to push this into a, a full-time ministry eventually, whether it's a business or a ministry or however you, you take it. Um, that will not happen for a while. There's just, that's not an economic viability. Um, and with holiday season right now coming up and I work in a warehouse, it's going to be very hectic. So... I want to say 100%, I really do thank you guys, those who are subscribed. Um, you know, if, if you're still hanging out five months after I, you know, not posted, thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for believing in resilient masculinity as we try to provide the content, the conversations, the skills, and equip men to become the men that God has called them to be. Thank you. Um, to my family, of course, I say thank you. They probably, they might be watching this. I don't know. If they are, thank you guys for loving us, for sending us out the way you did, for showering us with love and prayers and support. Um, you know, to my beautiful wife, obviously, I, I love her. She's amazing, and I couldn't do this without her. Uh, she is my support. She is my helpmate, and... She is currently working out with her friend, which gives me some time to sit down and record this episode. And uh, Mr. Buckwheat, our little dog, is over here being a little couch potato, kind of, kind of um, being a little sulky today. Uh, yeah, he's not happy. Dad's not playing with him, but he'll live. That's what after the recording will will do. But I want to say thank you. I wanted to give you guys kind of a a new feel for what this will look like. I don't have a setup like I used to. I used to be on the, the dining room table with my microphone, my headphones. Um, this house is too small for a dining room table. Um, it is bigger than the one bed apartment we used to have. However, um, the way this is set up, we do not have room for a dining room table. Uh, currently using a coffee table. I don't have exactly a lot of room for microphone and headphones. so. I'll probably, this is probably the, the feel for the podcast at the moment. What I may end up doing is recording podcasts on my phone, just recording audio straight to my Bluetooth with the microphone. I may end up doing that, in which case we may switch from a video format just to an audio only format. I'm not going to say that is what we do. I'm not going to say it's not what we do. I'm, I'm simply telling you it may be a potential. And maybe that way you guys can get some of my... Um, I do have a, a good long commute. I've got about a 30-minute commute. Um, maybe you guys can hear some of those conversations I have with myself. And, you know, that those would always make for some good podcast episodes. So, thank you. Thank you, guys, for sticking around. Thank you for your support. Uh, remember, this is about safety, stability, and service that we, we are here to provide the tools, the conversations, the skills, and equip men to become the men that God has called them to be. So whether you're starting a podcast or a woodworking business, of which I'll show you guys 
eventually I'll show you guys some of the woodworking uh, little projects I've done. Because I now have a garage, which means I have a little shop. I'm excited. Definitely not skilled in it. But every time I do it, I am a little bit better. So, again, thank you. Whether you're a woodworker, whether you're you know a podcaster, a businessman, a husband, a father, um, gentleman. We're here to provide safety, stability, and service uh, to those around us, to our families, to our wives, to our children, to our families, to our churches, to our businesses, and to our community. So thank you. I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, keep fighting the good fight. Quit you like men. Be men. Be the man that God has called you to be. Thank you.